<laughs> another week of NFL football came and passed. And, well, we got a bombshell earlier today as DeAndre Hopkins has been traded for a fourth, maybe fifth round pick to the Kansas City Chiefs because the Kansas City Chiefs have no wide receivers. And I, 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 I just got to say, like, how, man, how? Why did the Titans allow this to happen? Like, are the Titans in tank mode? Because that's what it's looking like. And to be quite honest with you, I don't blame them for being in tank mode. When you trot out Mason Rudolph out there, you know, to play the buff, Buffalo Bills, uh, it didn't work out too well. I mean, he threw for like 200 yards. I mean, Buffalo beat the brakes off of Tennessee. Uh, New Orleans, I don't know what in the world happened to them. They just got absolutely dismantled. I know Spencer Rattler was, you know, maybe not the guy to put in, but you got to do something, you know. You got to do something at this point. I just don't know. Uh, New England is terrible, but, I mean, Jacksonville, you know, Gets a win in London. I mean, good for them. But who cares? Uh, who cares? David Montgomery, you know, got hurt. And, you know, Minnesota had all, you know, had all that game to really kind of make up for some of the mistakes that we're making because Jared Goff was dealing, you know, yet again, he was started out 15 for 15, which is insane. You know, Jameer Gibbs was running all over the Minnesota defense. Minnesota couldn't make the plays needed when necessary. And Detroit, with the Jake Bates walk-off field goal in a thrilling game, to be quite honest with you, 31-29, Detroit takes the NFC North lead. Uh, Tyler Huntley's still at quarterback for now, so obviously Miami's going to lose. Um, Atlanta, I didn't expect them to lose the way they did. Kirk Cousins looked terrible in this game. Seattle picked that man apart. And that offense was flying high, high, high as they continue to fly high, 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 you know, with Geno Smith at QB, looking like he's back at West Virginia throwing the ball all over the field. Uh, the Rams, I mean, they beat Las Vegas. What, you want What you want a cookie or something like that? I, I, the Rams have not looked that great. Cooper Cup may be back this week. But again, the Rams are facing Minnesota, and they've really relied on Kyron Williams, to be quite honest with you. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen there. Carolina, it, it is maybe time to throw in the towel. You know, Jaden Daniels did get hurt in this game, hurt his ribs in this game, and Carolina just, I, I don't understand at this point. They are now going to start Bryce Young yet again this week. Bench Andy Dalton. The Andy Dalton experiment is over. For the time being, and that didn't yield any results at all. So Washington would work as Mariota of all guys at QB. Just dismantle Carolina. That is how you do it right there. Uh, the Giants also get dismantled by Saquon Barkley. Just, just terrible. Saquon ran all over the Giants. It was beautiful, you know, because fuck the Giants. Um, Deshaun Watson is done for the year. I know, more injuries. I know, I know. And a lot of people were cheering at that. And again, you know, you can say whatever you want to say, uh, you know, about, you know, what Deshaun has allegedly done, you know. I, I'd maybe, you know, maybe not boo if I, if I were a Cleveland fan. And, you know, I'm in that situation where, you know, my quarterback is hurt. Now you got all these different, you know, talking points. James Winston came out and said something. Everybody's coming out and saying stuff. Miles Garrett came out and said something. I mean, it's just like at the end of the day, who cares about what they say? Because Cleveland is terrible. You know, Cincinnati was able to sneak out the win. I don't, I don't care. I, I do not care about Deshaun Watson getting hurt for the year. That's unfortunate for him, you know, unfortunate, but it's part of the game. Um, Houston and Green Bay, I mean, C.J. Stroud looked terrible in this game. Jordan Love looked a little bit better, you know, but Green Bay was able to sneak out with this victory. You know, Joe Mixon was running all over that Green Bay defense, though. I'll tell you that much. He's probably going to run all over Indianapolis' defense, too. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. The Jets, they got Devontae Adams, but did that help them? 
No, it did not. When Russell Wilson is throwing it up to George Pickens and George Pickens is cooking it, you know something's wrong. You know, I've never really thought of George Pickens as like this super elite receiver, but a lot of people, you know, like to go off and, you know, kind of kind of get their rocks off with talking about him. Uh, now, Monday night, I don't understand what in the world Tampa Bay was doing Monday night. I mean, they had the recipe for success at the start. They were up 10 nothing. you know. They they had all the momentum, and then Baker started throwing, you know, picks. And then Evans got hurt, and then Godwin got hurt, and then Godwin is done for the year. Evans probably, you know, maybe like, I don't know, maybe at, at least day to day, probably a week, you know. It's just like you can't rely on Bucky Irving forever, you know what I'm saying? You can't rely on Kate Otten forever, you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, it's just like Tampa Bay, you know, rough. That defense rough. I mean, when you have Rashad Bateman tear your defense apart. I know King Henry was going to tear that defense apart. You know, he didn't really do too much at the start of that game, but, you know, once they got towards the end and once, you know, Baltimore was able to drive a stake – through Tampa Bay, yeah, it was wraps. King Henry decided to do his thing. And it, Cameron Dicker had five field goals, but did that help the Chargers at all? No, it did not because they still lost to Arizona. Kyler Murray, when he's able to make plays, one of the best in the league at making plays when it matters. I mean, the 44-yard TD run, it's a thing of beauty. Thing of beauty. But last but not least, let's talk about the Super Bowl rematch real quick because I want to talk about this game extensively a little bit more. I mean, Brock Purdy looked terrible, terrible. Multiple interceptions. It, it was rough. That offensive line got bullied, you know, and key pieces continue to drop left and right. You know, Kittle's the only – Kittle and Mason, like, the only two guys in offense now. You know, Jawan Jennings is hurt. Brandon Ayuk is done for the year now. Um, Debo Samuel is, you know, he got, he basically, you know, was injured, you know, this past week too. So it's like San Francisco, ugh. And if you're not Leonard Floyd, you know, Nick Bosa or, 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 or Fred Warner, yeah, good luck, buddy. Good luck. Good luck on that defense. Good luck. If you're not one of those three guys, good luck on defense. The other eight guys don't know what they're doing. Three guys know what they're doing, but the other eight do not. When when you have Patrick Mahomes, you know, having a 33 plus yard, uh, 33 yard scamper down the sideline, untouched basically, you know something's wrong. We have Kareem Hunt and, and, and Carson Steele running all over you. When Patrick Mahomes is having a very bad day, I mean, just look, that stat line is horrible. We have when you have Kansas City running all over San Fran like that, you know, it's like it's crazy. Kansas City ends week seven as the only unbeaten team because Minnesota lost to Detroit again in that thriller. And it's like, how do we get to this point? You know, like Mahomes has not had a good year at all, and yet key people continue to step up. And you add DeAndre Hopkins to that to that to that equation. Jesus Christ, man. Oh dear. But the good thing for San Francisco is this week they're taking on the Dallas Cowboys. And as we all know, the Cowboys have no run defense. We They have no run defense at all. Uh, I guess the other big things, you know, are like what are the Bucks going to do without Godwin and Evans? You know, Atlanta already beat Tampa Bay earlier this year. You know, just, just it was just a couple weeks ago. So, you know, what is what is that going to do? Seattle and Buffalo are going to clash in a high-flying game, you know, that's going to be buried in the late window. But, you know, if you're in Texas, like be the maps came up today, week eight, and, well, DFW is getting the Buffalo-Seattle game late. You know, if you want to watch bowling before that, I um, you know, I, 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 I try, but it's like I don't, I don't even know what's going to happen there. So, you know, it's tape-delayed bowling. Like, I don't want to watch tape delay so boo. It's 2024. We should not be tape delaying Bolt League. But Bolt League is a double topic for a different time. So um, is Russell Wilson, you know, really, is he is he is he not washed? Is he really not washed? Is he really, you know, back to himself? You know, the Russell Wilson that we all know and love. We'll find that out. 
we will find it out this week. You know, again, it's the Giants, Doug, but I mean, you know, Jade Daniels, if it's going to be Jade Daniels, it's going to be a huge clash with him and Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams and that Chicago Bears offense has been, you know, they've been doing okay. They've been doing okay. I won't say great because the competition has been great, but I will say it's been pretty good. And the Bengals, they're trying to get the 500. You know, they've had they've had a difficult start to the year, starting out one and four, but they've won their last two games. You know, they they are improving a little bit on defense, kind of. I don't know, because, I mean, there's a lot of bad, bad NFL teams. Like, teams are really starting to separate themselves from each other now. Because, I mean, the teams that have one win, you can count on multiple. Or one or two wins, you can count on multiple fingers. You know, it's like some of these teams are just that bad. It's like, how do you have a win? How do you have two wins? You know, like Tennessee, how do you even? How does Tennessee even have a win? Miami, I, I get it. Tua was hurt, but again, at the same time, yuck, 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 yuck. Cleveland, terrible. New York, both team, both New Yorks, terrible. Las Vegas, terrible. I don't, I know people are going to be like, well, what if the Chiefs, you know, get slayed by the Raiders? I don't think that's going to happen. Do you really think Gardner Minshew, you know, who has basically regressed from last year, you really think he's going to do something? I don't think so. Raiders are in tank mode at this point. Like, Devontae Adams is gone. Sure, you can rely on Brock Bowers, but, I mean, like, come on. That's not enough. That's not going to – that's not enough for me. So – Week 8 is going to certainly be some games that happen. Not going to be watching Thursday night. Not going to be watching Monday night. Uh, Sunday night is going to be a shit show because, you know, my Dallas Cowboys are playing. So, yeah, this is probably going to be a, a, a Sunday where, you know, just kind of just kind of breathe easy a little bit. There's a lot of big games this week. Again, Cincinnati, Philadelphia. Philadelphia is, you know, still trying to maintain – you know, a tie, at least a tie. Maybe by the end of the day, they will get the lead in the NFC East over Washington. Again, Washington, Chicago, big time game there. You know, again, if if we get the two young quarterbacks we are supposed to get, that would be a great matchup. Mariota maybe could be doing something. But again, you know, Washington's defense is, you know, it's a really good defense. So is Chicago. So I'm expecting a game where it's like it's kind of weird. I'm expecting a weird game. I'm expecting a weird one. Um, again, San Francisco, Dallas is going to be terrible. But, you know, it's going to be terrible for both teams, to be quite honest with you. But it's going to happen. Buffalo, Seattle, Josh Allen versus Geno you know, Smith should be probably the game of the week, to be quite honest with you. You know, because it's probably going to be a high-scoring game. That's what I think. You know, Amari Cooper, you know, had a decent week. You know, last week for the Bills, had a decent showing. So, who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, Indianapolis, Houston's also intriguing. And then if Atlanta, Tampa Bay, you know, actually goes okay, you know, like Baker Mayfield can do something, maybe that game will be fine. But, again, uh, huge matchups this week. Um, let's see if the Rams can try to get the three and four. You know, again, I don't really want to watch the Rams because, again, Cooper Cup might come back this week. I don't know if he's fully confirmed yet, but we'll find out tomorrow night and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm going to get on about it here, and I think I'm going to go to sleep and think about, you know, what this weekend will bring because we have a really good weekend on tap with both, you know, college football and the NFL. So uh, I'm going to get on about it here, and we'll talk to you all later.